hi guys welcome to today's video in today's video we are going to be creating a straight professional straight skirt and we are going to be doing it using a completely free online cad pattern making software called pattern maker pro if you don't know what pattern maker pro is i have a lot of videos this is my youtube channel i have a lot of videos here that you can go and watch on what pattern maker pro is and how you can use it it is advisable you watch one or two of this so that as i'm doing this one it will not be too strange for you so let's get started this is pattern maker pro and this is my account to open an account all you need is your email address and of course a password once you get to Pattern Maker Pro, you go to the Fashioner because that is what we are going to be using to create our pattern from scratch. And once you get to this page, you click here Pattern from the Catalog. And then you are going to scroll down and you are going to look for an empty catalog. You scroll to the end, this is the empty Fashioner, hashtag 159. So you click on it and it will take you here. You now add it to basket. So once you add it to basket, you need to choose a measurement set. So I will click on my measurement sets. If you don't know how to add measurement sets to Pattern Maker Pro, I have a video, as I said, this is my YouTube channel. I have a video where I actually show you how to enter your measurement sets. So once you get to my channel, just put how to enter your measurement sets. You will see the video and you can watch it. I will also link the video below this video to show you how to enter measurement sets in case you don't know how to do that on Pattern Maker Pro. I have a lot of measurements here. So I'll just choose the one that I want to use. That is my latest one that I put in. So that is my precise measurement. And so I'll click on that one. And once you click on that, in a few minutes, it will take you to where you want to start. You will now select output and then you click on the fashioner so this is what will come out preparing your fashioner session so you wait for a few minutes as you can see you can support them if you want then once that is done you just click on go to fashioner and then it's going to open to for us a blank place where we are going to actually start to be able to do this, we are going to be using this my video. This is the video on pattern drafting classes online, video 8. So this video I'm doing now is video 9. This is the manual where I drafted the skirt. So I'm going to use these instructions here and I'm going to draft this same skirt using this free CAD pattern making software called Pattern Maker Pro. So the very first thing we need to do, of course, we are going to create a rectangle showing 25 inches by 29 inches. Now, how did I get this measurement? This measurement is your skirt length measurement plus 4 inches and your back hip and front hip measurement plus 4 inches. Please remember when you're measuring your hip measurement, you do not measure it as a circumference because your front hip and back hip measurement is not equal. So you measure your back hip divided by two, measure your front hip divided by two, and then when you add the two together, you now add four inches. That is why I came by these measurements. And this is the measurements we are going to use to create a sort of rectangle in the Pattern Maker Pro or the Fashioner. 
So I'm going to be using centimeters, 63.5 centimeters by 73.7 centimeters. So let's go back to the fashioner and that's what I'm going to create. If you've watched my other videos, you know that to create lines is very easy. You use point to point. To start with, you start with add a free point. And so that's what we are going to do. We are going to be using this section of the menu to create our rectangle. We are going to start with add a free point and then we are going to add point from point. As I said, please watch my previous video because I'm not going to go in details. My previous video, I went in detail step by step on how you use every menu to create your patterns. So here, I'm just going to create it and then explain what I just did. But if you watch my previous videos, it will show you step by step exactly how I get things done. And again, please, uh, there is a link below this video where you can download your measurement sheet and enter the exact measurements you are going to be using to create this um, online straight skirt pattern using Pattern Maker Pro. I have formed my square, 29 inches by 25 inches. Now to write this inches, if you want, it's not compulsory. I just wrote it so that I can let you see it. You use this particular menu, click on utilities, and then you go here to add text between points. So that's how you can write this. So when you do that, if I click on add text between points, it will tell me to select two points. So let's say I want to add that 25 here. Yeah? Select the two points I want the text and then I'll click on continue and then I'm going to write what I want to write here, which is 25 inches. And then I'll click on continue and then you can see it right there. So that's how to write text if you want to write text. So now we are done with this. Let us go ahead and start creating our skirt. I have gone ahead to draw some few lines using this menu and this menu. So first is the waistline. The waistline is two inches below this main line. You just come down two inches, square it across to form the waistline. And from this waistline, you come down by your waist hip measurement, square it across to form your hip line. And again, from the hip waistline, you form your full length, a skirt length measurement. My own full skirt length measurement is 21 inches. So from here to here is 21 inches. I square it across to form my hem line. So now I have added a few other things which I'm going to explain. From your hip line, you're going to measure your front hip measurement. This here is my front hip measurement plus ease. And from where that stops, you're going to measure your back hip measurement plus ease. So here is my back hip measurement plus ease, and it landed here. So what I did is to do the same thing along the waistline, the same thing along the hip line. And then right here, in between these lines that separates the front hip from the back hip, you're going to measure 0 0.5 inches on both sides. 0 0.5 inches from this to this place and from this to this place. And another 0 0.5 inches from here to here and from here to here. And then from there, we are going to form the curve on both sides, the front and the back. I'm going to label this front side of the skirt, back side of the skirt. So I have done the curve for the front. I'm going to show you how to do the curve for the back. All you have to do now, you go to um, curves, add curve. It's going to ask you select start and end point. You're going to select this is start and this is the end point. Continue. So curve point is one. It's okay. It's going to be one because it's not so long. So continue. That is it. So all you have to do is to adjust this to meet this line so that there's a little curve. So I'll just adjust it to meet it. As you can see, eh? so the curve comes here and the curve comes here. And then I save it. 
So that is our back curve and this is our front curve. So now we are going to be shaping the waist of the two parts of our skirt. And to do that, you come to the center back line and then come down by 0 0.4 inches. You use the normal point at point from point command to be able to do that to get this point 0 point um no one quarter of an inch rather one quarter of an inch you come down by one quarter of an inch and then what we are going to do we are going to create a curve from here to here to form the front curve and then from here to here to form the back waist curve and as I've shown you before, you just go to curves, you click on add curve, and then select start and end point. For the front, we we'll select that is the starting point, and then that is the end point. And then we'll continue. I'm going to put two points because it's a little bit wide, so I'll be able to adjust it the way I want. So I'll put two points there, and I'll do continue. And that's the... the uh, curve so what i'll do i'll just i want to make the curve to really come down on it draw it down a little bit to join that line not so much that is too much just adjust it to join the line aha uh -huh. good then come here and adjust it again to also join the line it's difficult because of this thing i wrote on it so we've created I have gone ahead to create the darts for the front skirt. The only thing is that I've only created one dart because I want to explain to you how to create your darts properly. Now, with Pattern Maker Pro, it is so important to create your darts properly so that when you are trying to make different styles from this skirt, you can adjust your darts to create your styles. That is why the darts are so important. Because if you want to create different styles, you need to move your darts. So to create these darts, it's very important that you do it very well. Now, how do you create a dart for your front part of your skirt? First, you measure the distance between here to here. I've shown you how to measure a distance using Pattern Maker Pro. So once you get your distance, the first leg of the dart should be three and a quarter inch from the center front three and a quarter inch from the center front. So all I did is that, remember that this is a curve, but I changed the curve to a line. So I can quickly show you how you can do that. For instance, this is still a curve, the back part. So if I'm to change this curve to a line, I will just go to curves, curve to line. And then you tell you select the curve you want to convert. So I will select this one. Sometimes it doesn't answer. Once you've selected it, you just go to continue. Then you ask to keep the curve shape. You click on that. Click on continue. And there you have it. You find out that those two green dots are gone. But you have your curve, the waist curve remaining. And then you save it. So that's essentially how to convert a curve to a line. So you do that first. So as I said, once you've gotten the distance for the first leg of your dart and the distance here is uh, three and a quarter that is 3.25 all you have to do is to find the distance from here to here and then subtract it from that 3.25 and that is going to be the radius of this circle now the reason we put this circle is so that we can get an intersection point at the curve it is not easy to get the point on the curve using pattern maker pro so you need to put circles that will intersect at the points that you want your dart legs to happen. And that is essentially what I did. And of course, to get your, your circle, you just go to shapes, add circle. It's as simple as that. Then it tell you select one or more points for the placement. You select your placement, like if I want this one to be from where I'm measuring for it to be here. So this here now is the radius of the circle. And remember that will be this full length subtract the 3.25 that is the first leg of your circle so if you click on continue to ask you for the radius and that's where you're going to put the um 
seven points or whatever that you get, you know, when you subtract this. And that will be the radius. That's essentially what I did. So I put the radius and remember that between these two dots is one inch. We are going to be having two dots, but between them is one inch. So all you have to do is subtract the one inch, form the second radius, and then you get the point at the intersection, which I'm going to show you how to do with this second dot. So to get the point at the intersection here, you just go to points and then go down. You see at point at intersection, it will ask you to choose the two elements that intersect. As you can see here, this is my first element that is intersecting. This is always difficult at times. So that's the first element. And this line here is the second element. So that is where the intersection point will come. So you click on continue and save. So our point is there. So all we have to do now is for me to do point to point to bring down my vanishing points. So I will just go here, add point from points, and I will just click here, continue. And remember this is the Y axis. So I will just come here and my vanishing point is 3.5 inches. So 3.5 inches. And then I will just see. So that's where my that is. And I'll save it. So what I'll do now is just to draw the lines down there to form the second that. And as you know, that is quite easy to do. But I think I'll just do cancel. I'll do multiple lines. Go to add multiple, um, add multiple point line. Select points in order of line. So I'll just select here, select here, select here, and then continue and save. And then I will just go back there, add line. I will just select here and select here and continue and save. So there you have it. Those are my two dots for my two skirts. So I'll go ahead and create the dots for the back. And then we are now going to register these dots. And I'm I'll going to show you my dots. I'll you can finish with the back that. dots. Now, what we are going to do, we are going to register our dots. I have registered the front dots and one of the back dots. And I want to explain to you how to register your dots. So dots have to be registered on Pattern Maker Pro. As I said initially, you can use your dots to change your sketch style to whatever you want. But you need it to be registered for you to be able to do that. But before I go into that, I want to show you how you can remove all that geometry. So the way to do that, you go to layers and then add a layer. You have to create a layer. And then it will ask you to select a parent for the new layer. I selected a sketch draft. I added these two layers. So if you select any layer here, let's say you select fashion layer draft. New name layer. So this is where you're going to write your new name, which is going to be hidden layer. And then you save it. So that is how I created that. Uh, let me go back there. That is how I created height layer. Now, when once you've created this height layer, for you to take all those things back out of there, for instance, see to see what it looked like. If I click here now, if I create here. Um, you go to layers, you go to layer visibility. If I click here, you can see all the geometry I use to do this. Now, if I want to hide it, I will not go back and click there. Once it is orange, everything there is hidden. It has been taken to this layer. So that is what there is to it. If you have any questions, you can drop it below this video. I can explain it more to you. Or you can always go back to the fashioner. It is well explained. The fashioner manual, where you see how to do that. It is well, very well explained. So that's by the side. Let me remove that. 
So now that you've gotten your um, that, we need to register it. And to register that on Pattern Maker Pro, you just go to that and you go to register that. And then you have to select the that pivot point. This is my that pivot point. That's the that I want to register. I'll click on continue. Select the that leg point that will stay. You know when you're folding your darts, you fold your darts towards your seam. Like this one now, you fold it towards your seam. So that means this that leg will not move. This is the one that will move over to this one when you're folding your dart normally when you're sewing. So to select the that leg point that will stay, we select this one. That's the point that will stay. And then we click on continue. Select the that leg point that will fold over. This is the one that will fold over. We select it and we click on continue. Select the point representing fold direction. As I said, you fold your dart towards your seam. So this is the point that is the fold direction. And then you click on continue. Then we'll name this dart. So I'm going to name this dart back skirt. Back skirt dart two. Because this one was that one. So once you name it, you enter. Now I want you to watch what will happen to this thing now. It's going to adjust. So if I click on continue and I click on save, have you seen what happened? See where that dot jumps to. So that means when you're cutting your back skirt, you're not going to cut it straight like this. You're going to cut it from here to here, cut it like this, cut it like this, come here, cut it like so, cut it like so, come here. So I'm going to create lines to join these dots so that when we are, um, you know, printing out this as PDF, we'll be able to be able to cut our skirts the way it's supposed to be. As you can see, that what happened to the front skirt also. Because your darts are not normally straight. It's normally curved. So that when you fold it, it gives you the straight line. So what I'm going to do next, I'm going to form that. And then our pattern is ready to, for printout. I'm not going to show you how to print out all my other videos. You can go back and watch it and see how to print out. It's very easy to print. It's not so difficult. You know, once you get to your file, you see export pdf that's all there is to it and once you click on the export as pdf then you get it and download it as a a4 so with this i've come to the end of this um uh, video on how you can create your skirts straight skirts professionally how to create your straight skirt patterns professionally I hope you try your hands on it and uh, if you have any problems don't hesitate to comment or ask the very first time you do this is going to be a little e difficult or complicated but when you continue to do it you will get used to it you know so it's not as difficult as it looks <laughs> but you know whenever you're starting something it always looks uh, a little bit difficult but when you continue to do it you find out that it's not as difficult as you think so thank you so much for watching till next time in my next video happy sewing